Today, 19th of April 2010, we the Venezuelan people celebrate 200 years since the birth of our independence. To give us a clearer understanding of the situation in Venezuela during this period, we will embark on this historical journey. 1801 to 1808, Napoleon Bonaparte's quest to create a constitutional system and to overthrow all monarchies in Europe finds greatest resistance from the court of England. Napoleon manages to create an alliance between France and Spain later forcing King Ferdinand VII to abdicate the throne of Spain and hands control over to his brother José Bonaparte. José Bonaparte takes the government of Spain through a reformist constitution. The Regency Council is formed and in Cádiz they continued to proclaim their loyalty to King Ferdinand VII, who is recognised by England as the only true King of Spain. The movements that support the Regency Council of Cádiz emerge in America creating guidelines for its provinces, where the fundamental precept is absolute and dogmatic obedience. 1809. José Bonaparte appoints Vicente Emperan as Captain General of Venezuela. Former Governor of Cumaná, he successfully avoids several attempts by the elites to establish a junta in Venezuela. 1810. Napoleon Bonaparte acknowledges the independence of the Americas. This alters the movements in support of Ferdinand VII. José Bonaparte dissolves the Regency Council of Cadiz, suddenly leaving the councils in America without the guidelines advocating the rights of their beloved King Ferdinand VII. The Church convinces the aristocrats to form their own Regency Council in Caracas until Ferdinand VII regains power. Holy Thursday Members of the city council, the clergy and the armed forces take advantage of the large crowds to orchestrate popular support for the establishment of the junta and to challenge the command of Vicente Emperan. Upset, Emperan walks out onto the council balcony to ask the people gathered in the Plaza Mayor de Caracas whether they were in favour of the government of José Bonaparte. Are you satisfied with my leadership? The Chilean priest, José Cortés de Madariaga, standing behind Emperan, signals to the people to say, No! From the crowd below, Dr. Rafael Villarreal encouraged all to repeat in chorus, We do not want you! Well, neither do I wish to command, answers Captain General Vicente Emperan, this Holy Thursday, 19th of April, 1810, 200 years ago. On this day is created the Act of the 19th of April, where the Council transforms itself into the Supreme Junta of Caracas and begins to manage the affairs of the province. Miranda's residence in Grafton Street is where Miranda receives Simon Bolivar for an important encounter in June 1810, following the events of April 19th. Bolivar is appointed Colonel and is sent to London with Andrés Bello and Luis López Méndez on a diplomatic mission. By taking advantage of the fact that Spain and Great Britain were now allied nations, they wished to declare the Junta's loyalty to Ferdinand VII before the English court. London also played a vital role during the independence of Spain's American colonies by hosting various Latin American visionaries. Juan Pablo Vizcardo y Guzmán, Francisco de Miranda, Simón Bolívar, José de San Martín, Bernardo O'Higgins, and Andrés Bello, among others. The commemoration of dates like April the 19th, 1810, reminds us that these phases of our independence were supported by the upper classes, who were loyal to King Ferdinand VII of Spain. The lower classes had no influence on political decisions. They only became involved after 1816, when Bolívar declared freedom for slaves and the equality of all citizens as political mechanisms that would enable the triumph of emancipation. Bolívar placed social revolution at the heart of our independence. Vamos cumpa carajo, que para amanecer no hacen falta gallinas sino cantar de gallos. Ellos no serán bandera para abrazarnos con ella. Y el que no la pueda alzar, que abandone la pelea. No es tiempo de recular, 
ni de vivir de leyenda. Canta compañero, que tu voz sea disparo, que con las manos del pueblo no habrá canto desarmado. Canta, canta compañero, canta, canta compañero, canta, canta compañero, que no calle tu canción. Si te falta bastimento tienes ese corazón. Que tiene la tir de bombo, color de vino ancestral. Viene tu cueca de lucha cabalgando un viento austral. Canta, canta, compañero, canta, canta, compañero.